So guys, um, a very interesting happened, so I'm going to have to restart this book. It is Madeline, my name is J.O.Explanation Point. Um, and, okay, so I'll get started. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. trying to kind of be quick here because it's not time and I gotta get to bed because I have a heart I have a heart problem so I have to go to the doctor tomorrow lift 12 little girls into straight lines in two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. That's really bad to treat to treat people the way you want to be treated. You don't you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be robbed and treating horses well is really good. Because it's God's nature. God's up there, he's watching us. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or sunshine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. Hold on. I think I'm out of the space. There's 16 little girls, because I think that's what they said. Hold on. I'm going to go back and look. Um, Twelve. Okay, minus one equals eleven. Okay, because last video I made and it had eleven. And I'm like, I thought it had sixteen girls. So how long? Okay, the smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. That's not a good. That that's not a bad thing. So I don't know why it's really specifically saying about that. Not trying to encourage y'all guys to be just like rude, but she loved winter snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo, poo. <laughs> Sorry if there's, like, if you hear them in the background, that's my other part of the family. I'm Jaslyn, but my channel's called J.O. because it's it for my whole name, Jaslyn. I'm be Jaslyn. <laughs> Olivia, clearly, oh, no. yeah, that's fine. Right. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Cow. Clive, Cow, Cow, hello. In the middle of the night, Miss Cow turned on her light and said, "Something is not right." Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon Dr. Khan came. He rushed out to the phone. I'm just trying to show you all guys and be quick. It's dark and I'm really sleepy. And he dialed Dan. Ton, ten, six. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket, safe and warm. That's always great to do, guys, if you guys have a hurt person. 
you either put them in like a car really safe, like put them in a blanket or do something safe like the ambulance. Something like that so that they can be safe. Turn on your flashers and go. Yeah. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Look how pretty those roses are. Can I show y'all guys something? So, my has done 38, I think, years at JCPenney's. That's a store. And it has a mall. And, yeah, it has Dylan's, I think it's called. And you can get your ears pierced. Yeah, I got it done there. But yeah. can I show all guys the flowers? Right here they are. See all of those? Okay, you can't see them. There. I think y'all guys saw it. But this is my favorite. That one. I hope y'all guys saw that. It's pretty confusing. Can you show me? Okay. In a car with a red light. They drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank on her bed. There was a crack and a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. If y'all guys can make out that bunny, okay? Like the video. Outside were birds, treats, and sky. And so ten days passed quickly. Bye. So, if it's like summertime and you're having like lots of fun every day, like maybe having a sleepover with your friends, for example, sometimes time can pass by very quickly. Like you think like, it's not nighttime yet. One hour later, it's nighttime because you've been having so much fun. You haven't been keeping track of time. One, yeah, one nice morning. Miss Calvin said, isn't this a fine? Day to visit Madeline. I bet all the girls are really happy to see one of their friends. I bet all of them are friends. They look the exact same, but. I can't tell really any difference except for their hair. Yeah, their hair's the only difference about them. Visitors from 2 to 4 read a sign outside their door. Tiptoeing with William. Thanks. So, flowers and a I'm trying to read like whisper because they're tiptoeing, so I'm trying to just go with the flow on it, so I'm just doing this out a little bit like, yeah. And they walked and then said, ah! Then they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest prize by far on her stomach was a scar. But really, guys, if y'all guys have a friend in a hospital, don't just go into the toys and start playing with them all. Start getting into the treats and all of that because that's really rude because it's for them because they were the sick person. Y'all guys should leave that to them, okay? I'm not trying to experience y'all guys to be rude, but that's just my opinion to just not steal their things and start playing with them. Unless uh, she tells you. And I don't see anything on here that's saying she, they all can. So just don't. I'm not disappointed at any of y'all guys who are watching. I'm just saying don't do it. Okay. 
see. I'm gonna try to zoom in there. Close up pick. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And the little girl slept in the rain. Ouch, I hit my head, sorry. You guys saw that. Um, brushed their teeth and went to bed. Oh. They went home and broke the bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. Sorry, I missed a line. Now I'll show you all guys a picture again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. But I'm just like messed up in my head. Um, in the middle of the night, Miss Calvin turned on her light and said something is not right. And afraid of a... I think a dister is an appendix, but a different word for it. But, yeah. Sorry if you guys think, like, it's weird that I talk like that. I just be silly. I'm, I'm like the class clown in my class. And by the way, if you guys are wondering what age I am, I am only eight. Miss Calvin ran fast and faster. And guys, upcoming soon, I'm going to make a song about my viewers. And it's about how nice they are. So keep your eyes out for it. And she said, please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo-hoo. We want to have our independence out too. Oh, I get it here. They want all the prizes, prizes that Madeline has. They want everything. They want to be like spoiled rotten. No, that's not how you treat people, okay? If y'all guys have like, if y'all guys are sick and someone else has lots of toys, y'all guys don't just fake just to get an appendix so y'all guys can get rushed to the hospital because that's kind of making fun of the person. I'm trying not to let y'all guys get mad at me. I'm just telling y'all guys my opinion. Independence up too? Yeah, independence means like you're really sick or something happened to you. Yeah. But yeah, that's really rude, guys. Don't ever do that. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are. Well, and now go to sleep. Said Miss Calvin, and she turned out her light and closed her door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Here is a list of... For those who many wish to identify the Paris senses, sentences, <laughs> allowing them to have pictured is this book on a the cover and is one of the illustrations. The Elephant, Elephant Tower. In the picture of the lady feeding the horse, the Oprah, a garden, it is a chilled thief across the place, found a wonder soldier at the hotel is. And of him, a rainy day is front of Notre Dame. A sunny day looked across the guardians at the luxury. 
behind the little girls skating at the Church of the Sacred Kira. A man is feeding the birds and an illustration. Guardians facing the Lover. So that is all there is today. Stay tuned for more videos upcoming on books and all of that. So please like I would it could really help out and this is my first video in the whole world. Like I had an old channel but I had to stop because my mom ran out of storage space. So this is my papa's home. He's actually a really good guy, so please I'm begging you.